Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Update One here. We check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out Voxel Tycoon, which is a strategy management type game set in a blocky, blocky world. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get uh, let's get started here. Orbital Inc. Uh, USD, yeah, I'm fine with that. City names, English, world seed, fine, tutorial off, difficulty settings, all on normal, world settings, all on normal. Let's jump into it immediately so that we can get to the good stuff, which is planning out networks and creating processes and creating routes, delivering resources and making money. Very, very important. Uh, anyway, as ever, I have done the tutorial. I know roughly what I'm doing and hopefully I will be trying to uh, impart some knowledge uh, on to you, dear viewer, about uh, about how to play and uh, hopefully how to, well, I say win, uh, how to win Voxel Tycoon. Goodness gracious me, what a lovely yellow environment this is. Okay, where are we? Welcome to the Stavely region. It's a good place to do business. Excellent. Look around for resource deposits to start mining from. Buy vehicles and supply city demands. When you're ready, make more complex products, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Uh, we are in the desert, but to be honest, I don't think that that's necessarily too problematic. Not at all, actually. I think... This is grand. Uh, okay, right. This is the game. As you can see, we got $750,000 uh, $750, just in the corner. Oh my goodness, we can take out loans. This is great news. This is great news. This is a wonderful, a wonderful facility. Uh, headquarters. We'll build the, we'll build the headquarters a little bit later on. Let's chat about, uh, let's chat about what's going on here. So we got our main town of, uh, of Stavely here, which has got 35 buildings, a population of 210. It's got two demands uh, that are presently not being met. Uh, which is which is a little bit uh, a little bit poor. We can actually see exactly what the town demands. It demands wood and it demands iron ore, and it is going to be our job to try and supply those resources in order to ensure that the town is uh, is able to grow. I'm just going to bump the music uh, ever so slightly. There we go. It's just a little quiet there, and uh, now it's a little too loud. So you know what? There we go. Happy medium, please. Thank you. Uh, right. So we are looking, we are looking to try and find the resource deposits that are around. So we've got stone here, we've got iron ore here. Now we only have access to this one specific region at the present moment. So I don't know, I don't know where our trees are. Yeah, but I know that there are trees around. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of trees over there. But we got to think about what route makes most economic sense immediately. The one that's sort of sticking out to me as as good to do is iron ore into stably that to me seems to be uh seems to be the first the first order of business so without further ado let's get cracking on that we'll chat about uh we'll chat about the way that the game works as we go let's go into the industry tab let's go into the mining tab iron or mine let's do that right in there it's going to cost us fifty-two thousand. that's completely fine and we are going to see the mining progress start to increase we're going to start to see iron ore be accumulated slowly but surely and stuck into storage which is quite nice uh, next we need to chat about how the heck we get it into the town of Stavely. and the way that we do that is by building a road station or a freight station uh, i guess you could say now we need to put a freight station at both ends of the process so we're going to place stably north down over uh, over yonder and we're going to get ourselves a second within range of the what is this building actually just a plain industrial building i mean i guess it's kind of like a smeltery perhaps sure we're going to put that within range of the smeltery and uh, i guess we should probably stick it i don't really want to build it uh in place of a building because that's going to cost me more money and i don't really yeah i don't really want to pay for the removal of buildings so let's let's stick it in there stably north and stably northwest don't really love the naming convention uh, that's going on there to be honest but that's okay anyway let's get uh let's get some road to connect these two these two facilities together that's going to cost us 27k is there a way that we can do that for cheaper it's going to cost us 12 it's a little less direct but uh but it might just uh it might just be better which i think i'm, I'm particularly happy with uh, okay now before this iron mine has maxed out storage let's see if we can try and buy a truck to get uh to get transporting in order to buy a truck, we need to place ourselves down a garage. 
or a garage, and uh, we need to buy a truck. Cool. Right, so there's a couple of trucks that we can buy at present. Uh, we can see up in the top left-hand corner exactly what to transport. It's only the AA truck that is going to that is going to allow us to transport iron ore. So we will get the AA truck. We will get a nice little little work order set up by adding the stops very, very simply. I love how intuitive this is, by the way. Like, it all is presented very, very clearly, and uh, I like it a lot. And then we're basically just gonna set, uh, we're basically just gonna set this truck to get started. It's, it's kind of that simple, to be honest. It's kind of that simple. And you know what? Let's, uh, let's get a couple of additional copies. I feel like five trucks, maybe, is good. Release all. Oh my goodness. Excellent. There we go. We're off to the races. Five trucks may very well be too many, but given that it's a slightly longer route, it kind of makes sense. I'm going to have to tweak the audio again just a little bit. There we go. Okay, bring that down. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so each of these trucks will carry five iron ore, which I think is just fine for our purposes. This... Yeah, this uh, this industrial building demands a lot, a lot, 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 lot of iron ore. So uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see as to how much is really required. Vehicles can load 31 or 32 iron ore there, so that's grand. Uh, okay, so we've used a fairly significant chunk of change to get us to this point. But I don't think that that should really stop us from looking for other opportunities. I mean, there is a coal mine over there. The only problem with the coal mine is that in order to deliver it, hey, look at that. We have uh, we have a deal. Our first supply has been uh, has been met. Cool. Money earned one thousand three hundred. It's not a tremendous amount. I got to be honest, not a tremendous amount, but it's but it's not terrible. Let's hope that we're able to get a little bit more out as uh, as we go. Anyway, uh, the thing that I was gonna say is coal can be delivered here. It's just a bit of a trek. It's just a bit of a trek. That's the only that's the only problem. But you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. I think that we should do it. So let's do it. Uh, coal mine. That's what we're after. Boom. Let's get a station over here. Let's get it as far south as we possibly can, and probably rotate it so that we so we do something like that. And we need to build a road over to about there. It's going to cost us quite a lot of money. Set up that. I love the way that roads can be built in this game, by the way. Um, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of fancy stuff that you can do with roads that we'll, we'll hopefully get to in a little bit. But it's fine for now. Uh, if I connect these two roads, which I would dearly love to do and yet uh, seem to have... Missed the opportunity. Oh, there we go. No, I found a little. I found a little route there. I, I don't love the fact that we're constantly, you know, changing elevation. It's costing me a little bit of extra money, but uh, but I can just about tolerate that. Are we meeting the? Are we meeting the demand here? No. Consumes four items every day. Right, and the days pass pretty quickly, to be honest. The days pass pretty quickly. We are basically not meeting any of this demand. Um, we could probably manage like one or two additional trucks on this on this route. Let's buy. I don't even know why I bothered with that. Uh, I can just copy that, release, uh, release that, and copy that, release that. Then this car here. Funnily enough, since I don't want to, since I don't want to use it on the iron route, let's use it on the coal route, eh? Full load right over there, and we will head down here. And I still need to place a freight station at the other end, but maybe, just maybe, I can squeeze one in. 60,000, 20,000. Oh, that's perfect. Right in there. Right, add stop. Boop. Unload. Okay, and dispatch. Yeah, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. I hope that that's going to work. I think it will. You know what? I think it will. We're we're making progress on two fronts. That's grand. Right, our supply is bad, which is embarrassing, but uh, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that's the basics. Uh, warehouses, 
don't really want to build any warehouses at the moment. Uh, there's nothing in the factories tab yet because we haven't researched it. And uh, we haven't done any research because we ain't got, uh, we ain't got a lab. Now, I'm going to place down a laboratory, even though I'm pretty much convinced that this is going to end up being a, a bad decision. But, uh, but that's okay. I, I don't want to build any more labs, thanks. I, I would just like to start new, uh, new research, if that's uh, at all possible. And what can we research here? Manufacturing, which is going to give us conveyor belts. Okay, interesting. A filter, elevated conveyor. Gasoline engine. Nice. Uh, mining two, copper mine, stone quarry, sand quarry, rails. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got the option to build railways, but uh, but I'm not particularly interested in that. There's a lot of things here that require a, a lot of money. Manufacturing seems to not require much money. Perhaps for that reason, we take manufacturing. Start research. Sure. Let's uh, let's get to let's get to work on that. So we need to do 45 passes in order to unlock manufacturing, and it costs 1,800 uh, a time. So I think we should be fine. Hopefully we'll be fine. I I think that we've got enough money to, to get us across the line, but I guess we will I guess we will wait and see. Okay, let's stick it in three times speed, given that our financial situation is uh, I don't want to say questionable because it's not questionable. It's just uh, it's just a little it's just a little disappointing. Uh, it's just a little, 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 little disappointment, disappointing. Uh, okay, coal is being delivered. That's great. Uh, I'm delighted that we're we're making progress on that. Uh, we are fulfilling the demand of iron, which is which is actually kind of decent. I'm delighted that that we're making that we're making that work. Uh, I suspect that we're still not running a profit. We are making money. We are definitely making money. Also, apparently, we've got a loan out already which potentially means that we may have to pay interest. Doesn't look like we do. Looks like we don't have to pay interest on our starting loan, which, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I would be, otherwise I would be in trouble. Uh, okay, let's live dangerously. Let's be bold. Let's copy. Six. That's right. Six brand new trucks. That's going to push our, that's going to push our finances potentially into a little bit of a problematic situation. We just got to keep an eye on things here. Vehicle running costs, building maintenance, research, and uh, I think, to be honest, I think we're actually going to turn a profit on this month. That's my that's my genuine genuine hope. The other thing that we could potentially get down is an additional iron mine. Although to be fair, I think that we're I think that we're making this work. Five items from storage every day to work properly. Okay. Okay, so we are we are definitely we are definitely working. Uh, population is still low, unfortunately. Passenger service, ooh, yeah, we could uh, we could get a passenger service. Demand limits, yeah. So we need coal. In order to in order to think about growth, we need we need to uh, we need to get some we need to get some uh, we need to get some wood in here. Not coal, wood. Also, demand. We need to be very, very careful that we don't end up oversupplying the amount of iron here. Just something that we do need to consider. But hey ho, look at that. We're actually turning a profit. We're actually turning a profit at this early stage, as well as running uh, a whole bunch of research, which is costing us uh, a tremendous amount of money. Well, that's good. That's good. On the whole, that is good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, surprisingly, we're also hitting our coal objectives. That's great. That's really, really good. We've got an excellent, an excellent supply of, uh, of iron ore. However, I'm beginning to think that maybe we've just got a few too many trucks. Yeah, as you can see, the price is changing. The price is going down, probably because we are oversupplying a little bit. Yeah, not super, not super hot, but uh, but that's okay. Business of no has no extra storage. Yeah, it will be lower. That'll, that'll be a little bit lower. Okay, you know what? Let's um let's slow down. Let's see if we can try and adjust the uh, the economics of this uh, of this situation. I would like you to just go to the uh, the garage here. That's that's fine with me. Yeah, you just go to the garage. Let the uh, let the demand let the demand uh, properly balance out. Coal. We've got lots and lots of coal that we're 
currently transporting. Hopefully, we're gonna be we're gonna be okay in the price of coal for a little while. Uh, but if not, we will we will take we will take remedial action and we will we will fix it. But yeah, yeah. Okay, officially oversupplied. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally, 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 totally fine. I'd rather be oversupplied than undersupplied. Right. Population is growing. Businesses are growing. Let's see if we can try and think about supplying wood, because that is the next challenge if we want to grow, if we want to grow this town. Alternatively, we do have one other, we do have one other town to supply, two other towns to supply, and, uh, Hey, we got manufacturing. Brilliant. That means that we don't uh, we don't have to continue to spend uh, an inordinate amount of money. Can't build here. What's the issue? Ah, the road is just a little, a little too large. Uh, okay, what I'm currently thinking though is it's going to cost us 21k to do something like that. Is there a way that we can perhaps maybe add some extra? some extra connections to our to our coal routes i'm gonna really see if we can try and keep the cost of building road here not enough money yeah I, I've, I've noticed that i've noticed that we are that we are somewhat out of money but to be fair all that we really need to do in order to get this connected up is we need to get a freight station down which uh, i don't currently have the money for but if i borrow which uh, has never failed me absolutely never been uh, Never been bankrupted by borrowing. No siree. You must be thinking of another orbital potato. You must be thinking of another orbital potato. Right, let's uh, let's get this road connected over here. We connect that up there for a uh, pretty small amount of money. We get that in there like so. And then... We can first of all check on supply here. Supply is good. That's that's grand. Supply of iron ore is still a little bit lower than perhaps we would like. So again, all we need to do get you to go to the garage. Get you to go. Get you to go to the garage and you to go to the garage as well. That is fine. We can get uh, we can get these things to honk. Cool. I uh, don't particularly want to do that, though. Don't particularly want to do that. Right. I would like to reconfigure. No, I would not like to reconfigure. We do not want to sell either. Well, yes. Stop reconfiguring. Let's let's ditch the let's ditch the route here. We'll edit the routes. We will ditch this order. Ditch that order, and we will start taking from this area right the way over to here unload brilliant and i think that is all that we really want to do isn't it as far as i'm as far as i'm aware i don't think that we can copy working orders between yeah i don't think that we can copy working orders between uh, between vehicles but uh but hey ho you should be able to you should be able to take core uh, yep, there we go. If, if we uh, if we swap that across, yeah. Individual route. Yep, that's fine. Coal to Shipley East. Sure. If we if we get that uh, if we get that on there, then I can just put you on coal to Shipley East. Nice. I can put you on coal to Shipley East. I can put you on call to Shipley East as well, and then we just need to go into the configuration of all of these trucks. In fact, to be honest, we can leave it on just auto. I mean, it'll it'll auto it'll auto uh, it'll auto determine that coal is what we need to is what we need to supply. So there we go. All right, so that that's coal. That's great. Uh, yeah, let's let's not worry about this. Let's not worry about this lab for now. Hopefully, hopefully the running costs aren't too large. They're pretty large. They are pretty large, but that's that's fine. Uh, heating plant has received the first supply of coal. That's great news. I'm delighted by that. I'm delighted by that. I hope that this is going to be 
the first of many deliveries to the coal plant. Doesn't look like we are going over the top in terms of supply to the Ringwood heating plant, which is great news. We're still a little over capacity here though. Yeah. You go to the depot. I'm just not gonna, if, if we're just oversupply, if we're oversupplying and we just need to cut things back, it's, it's just that simple. We just need to continue to, just need to continue to cut back. Right, so it did say that it was gonna be uh, 30 days, but because I've continued to oversupply, yeah, because I've continued to oversupply uh, iron ore, I think that we're probably gonna continue to have problems. You know what, look, just again, you go to the depot. I, I've clearly, I've clearly screwed the pooch on this one. Go to the depot, we'll have one truck. We'll have one truck that is doing deliveries, which is absolutely categorically going to make sure that we don't go over the top, which is grand. Pretty happy with that. Look at our cash, by the way. We are, we're making some, we're making some serious moolah. Uh, loan interest is a lot. Okay, I think that I do need to pay interest. I think that I do need to pay interest on my original, on my original 750,000 loan. Not over the moon about that, to be honest. But that's okay. Right, storage is going to start to deplete soon, which is grand. I'm, I'm delighted. And then we can reassign another truck once the, uh, once the time frame has, uh, has disappeared here. And that's going to basically just double our double our income. Storage is still bad across here, or uh, storage is still bad, what am I talking about? Everything is, everything is bad across there. Let's go, let's go coal to Shipley East. Let's go auto dispatch. Demand decreased. Whoa, now you accept less coal? Oh, that's fine though, that's totally fine, that's totally fine because we, um, we don't even deliver to you anyway. That is, that is grand. That is grand with me. All right. So, are we still are we still uh, Stavely now accepts wood? Okay. Well, we don't supply wood anyway, but we will. We're very very close to doing that actually. And uh, all the while I've been chatting here, we've uh, we've just been assembling a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of money with which we can deploy to hopefully get wood up and running. Because I want to grow Stavely. I want to grow Stavely. That's my that's my ambition here. I don't know if it should be my ambition, but there you go. Let's get a sawmill. Let's get a sawmill. Sawmill is literally placed right here, I believe, unless it is another type of building that we need. I don't think that it is. I think we should be... I think we should be able to do that. Yeah, okay. It just doesn't look like it goes down, to be honest. Like, eh, oh well. Okay, sawmill is down. Let's get some stations. By some stations, I mean let's get one station. Pause whilst we build the road. It's a very, very simple connection, really. Is that the most direct route? It might be the most direct route, but it's not the route that I prefer. I think we want to do... I think we want to do that. I think that's going to really, really, really make things just a heck of a lot, uh, a heck of a lot cheaper. The station at the other end is going to cost me a pretty penny as well. But there is a great place that we can just slot it in there. And then we're going to have to unpause as we accumulate just a little bit more cash to buy some of these AAA trucks. Although, I could take out a loan could very, very, very well take out a loan. If I did take out a loan, I'd only have the option to buy one singular truck, though. So, hardly seems like a great idea. Anyway, iron ore is, uh, is now officially back properly priced. That's great. At least it's priced at a, at a level where uh, we can be fairly happy. We can be fairly happy of its, uh, of its, of its profit which I think is pretty good. Stavely, oh my goodness. Stavely is looking good. Stavely is looking good. Price of wood is still, is still, uh, it's, it's not great. It's not great to be honest, but there we are. Right, so the AAA truck or the AA truck. 
let's go let's go for one of these I should really just make roots for everything but to be fair I uh I'm kind of lazy. The price of coal will be lower for a certain amount of time. Really? I did not realize that we were... Unload. And... Save as. Yeah, wood to... Sure. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's take a little look. What's... What's the issue? What's the issue here? Have we really maxed out storage? I am somewhat surprised. Okay, let's uh let's get this let's get this saved. Call to call to there, yeah. Uh and then let's put all of these let's put all of these vehicles on a route. And actually, let's not even put all of these vehicles on a route. Let's just put like four of them on a route. And then the rest of them can be sent to the garage. For good reason, I would hasten to add. Because we're actually going to connect our last town to the route. And if we send everyone to the garage, then that should keep everything should keep everything fine. Now, I've got four trucks running on the Ringwood South coal delivery route. And I think that that's going to be enough to not max out the storage. But I'm going to keep a very, very close eye on it this time. Because if we do max out the storage, then um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be. That's great. So I think that we can. I think that we can handle three potentially or four potentially five trucks on the on that route, which I think is grand. Now let's lay the last bit of road to connect up our entire nation. It's not even a nation. It's a region. What? Oh, I see. You're gonna go round here and turn in order to in order to come back. Can I uh, can I build a roundabout? Sure, I'll build a roundabout there. Will that allow you to turn a little bit earlier? I guess you can just turn here. Okay, that's fine. That makes me look like a little bit of a twit, but I I'm okay with it. Right. So, don't think that we've maxed out the storage there. That's grand. Don't think that we're... Yeah, we're nowhere close to maxing out the storage of that... Uh, of that heating plant over yonder. That's grand. And then Briarfield. Sure. Are we getting wood here? We are getting wood here. Population should start to increase. This is very, very exciting. We're starting to see some, uh, some real movement. We can definitely get a second truck on this route, by the way. There is no reason why we shouldn't be able to. Let's get this saved as a root. Iron ore to there. Let's get one of these. One of these trucks on there. Let's leave it. Let's leave it at, at, at two trucks for now. We could probably probably do better, but it's fine. Ooh, you're on the verge of bankruptcy. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that I've got some uh, some trucks saved up for just this occasion. However, before we're able to go, we need to get uh, we need to get a freight station placed. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to deliver to this to this coal plant here. Right, tell you what, build the road first. Sure, build that over there. And then let's edit this route. Let's uh, ditch that stop, ditch that stop. We will get a first port of call here, full load, excellent, and a second over there to unload. Let's get it saved as whatever. I love how it auto populates and auto colors the the save um, the saved route. That's so handy. It really is such a such a great system. Okay, unpause and let's go. All right, I think that's I think that's all that we really need to. That's all that we really need to do. That is brilliant. Okay. Stanley East with wood to, to stop business closure. You know what? I will. I will buy... I will take out two additional loans to buy two of these. There we go. And let's get you a sign there and... 
you assign there. I could have just I could have just copy and pasted, but I didn't decide to do that. So there we are. Uh, okay, hopefully, hopefully that's going to be enough to to get us a little bit of additional woods, and uh, and perhaps stop bankruptcy. Now you also need prevent business from closing. Not enough money. Wait, what? I need to pay? Surely not. Surely I don't need to pay. Surely it's about delivering resources. Surely. Surely. Can't be me. Okay, all right. I, uh, I could... I could potentially be in trouble. Uh, we we need to fund this, right? Like we absolutely need to fund this. If if this is if this isn't gonna work, then yeah. If this doesn't work, then we're we're in trouble. Okay, I'm gonna copy some. Gonna copy some trucks here. Okay, Shipley now accepts wood. What? Oh, that's that's handy. Car 14 is not, uh, has not transferred, what? Where are we? Oh, is it because you've still got coal? It is because you've still got coal. Whoops. That's my bad. Uh, okay, prevent business from closing. I mean, I'm trying to make it profitable. I'm really, really, really trying to make it profitable, but, uh, but apparently we're just not having any joy. I'm just gonna continue to throw vehicles onto this route in the in in the vain hope that uh, this is gonna make a difference. Right, let me follow you. It's this one here. By three, release all. Now. Again, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, that we're going to help the business help themselves, which is going to cure the bankruptcy, I, I hope. But uh, I really don't know if the video game works like that, so we're, we're going to have to see. The good news is, is that I will be making money. Like, throughout this, throughout this entire time, I, I will be making money. I'm already making a tremendous amount of money. Funnily enough, I'm making more money than I've ever been making before even though we are paying uh, a lot in interest payments uh, money is money is money 134 133 yeah mm, it's not looking it's not looking like it's going to change although to be fair i've not really supplied a tremendous amount of wood demand is demand is there consumes three items from storage every day to work properly resets on the first day of the month yeah, it's pretty pretty good uh, we are, oh, we've increased the amount of coal supply, we've increased the amount of wood, it's average, it's good. But it doesn't look like it's enough to save it from bankruptcy without my financial contribution. I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest, I'm a little, I'm a little miffed at that, that's a little, that's a little daft. That is a little, little, little daft. Well, we can, we can jump in here and we can prevent the business from closing. Which is which is kind of nice. Also, there's a there's a little wood connection here, and the good news is that Shipley East can already supply the uh, the wood there. So I think that there is a strong case to be made. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Bankruptcy avoided. Regular supply is essential for the business to maintain growth. I'm so glad that I didn't decide to that I didn't decide to jump in there. That's that's brilliant. Okay, let's uh, let's copy. Let's copy what? One of those? Yep. Hey, look at that! Bankruptcy avoided. Brilliant. Okay, uh, we're gonna add one more to the to the list, but uh, but truthfully, that may just be a little bit of oversupply. But if not, then or if it is, then we can uh, we can adjust. Supply is average here. Supply is average. I think that we need one more truck supplying. No, it doesn't look like we need one more truck supplying iron ore, actually. I, I will I will acquiesce on that point. Let's get a AAA truck. Go from here. Man, I love, I love, 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 love the way that this video game handles uh handles handles like uh like schedules and stuff. Very, very, very good. 
with the ship pleased. It just looks so good. It's so simple. It's so easy to get your head around. It, it really is brilliant. Okay, so now we got a route from Shipley Southwest all the way up to Shipley East supplying wood, which uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with. I think that that is going to help out uh, a lot, actually. I am so chuffed that we avoided bankruptcy. That's, that's such great news. Supply is looking good. There's a little bit of extra capacity that we could uh, that we could squeeze into all of these places. I mean, this this one uh, place this place is is definitely something. There's definitely something we can do here, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, are we are we looking are we looking good? We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good in terms of the uh, in terms of the economy. Iron ore supply is good, and wood supply is good. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. It could be excellent, like it is like it is over here. But it's, it's far from terrible. Uh, right, should we investigate some passenger services, eh? Double bus stop or just a bus stop? Uh, a double bus stop seems like a... Seems like a better investment. But it doesn't really look like... It doesn't really look like there's much difference in terms of area of effect. And I gotta be honest, it is quite a small area of effect. That the that the bus stop uh, that the bus stop has, which is a little a little irritating. So, 15k, 45k. You know what? 15k for a single bus stop. Let's go. And first of all, ooh, really don't like that. What about over here? Don't really want to grab from the same passengers. 33k to build a bus stop in the center of town. What about if I build out here? Yeah, tell you what, let's do that. Camp, okay, all right, that's... It was a short-lived... A short-lived prospect. This is just a disaster. Look at this, look at these hills. Look at these freaking hills here, dude. It's, uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good at all. Right. Um, what about what about a road in here? Yeah, tell you what, let's get a road in here. Let's do that in there. Demand increased. Ooh, we'll take a we'll take a little look at that in a second. Now that is not not bad. But I'd prefer just to sort of tuck that, yeah, right in the corner there, and then connect that up. Okay, now are we going to be able to get an intra an intra city passenger service set up? I guess we'll see. What do we got? What's the difference? Twelve passengers. So this one has got a slightly higher speed passenger vehicle. This has got a slightly higher uh, capacity. I'll go capacity for intercity stuff. Right, yeah, uh, unload and then load available cargo or passengers at a destination, sure. And then add another stop, transfer, let's set this as, in fact, you know what, don't, don't set this up as a route because it might not, it might not work. The, the way that the video game handles passenger services might be, uh, might be somewhat unique. So we'll, we'll check that out. Okay, vehicles can unload passengers, vehicles can load passengers. Yeah, okay, that's that's great. So that seems to be that seems to be working. It looks like there are passengers. Looks like there are passengers queuing up. Doesn't look like there's lots of them, but it's at least something. Uh, let's get some let's get some additional services set up. So we'll get a connection to here. There we go. And we'll buy another bus. And for this one, we will get a faster bus. Marginally. Marginally faster bus. Load. Don't do that. In fact, tell you what, just give me um just give me another transfer order, to be honest. I think transfer orders for passengers seems to be, in my mind, slightly better. Let's get this saved as an individual passenger route, Route 7. There we go. And uh, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So we are potentially going to see some...
passengers going to specific places. I, I hope that that's the case anyway. Might take us a little while for our passenger service to turn a profit, but that's okay. All right, demand increased. We now accept more woods. Not going to make the very obvious uh, joke connected with that sentence. How are things looking here? The heating plant needs needs more supply. Are we managing to... Yeah, we've got, we got coal. Right. Coal to Briarfield East. Let's uh let's get another let's get another truck on this route. I love how easy it is to see which trucks are on what route. Oh, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant the way that uh, that it handles itself. It really is really is very very good. Uh, okay, have we had our first passenger service? Uh, we have. We have two people. As long as we're making money. Let's look at the stats. Running costs, 230. And we made 150 bucks there. Okay, cargo delivered is two. How many passengers do we have on at the moment? We got zero passengers uh, at the moment. So, uh, demand to travel inter-city rather than just intra-city. Uh, not high. Also, supply on this route is Quite bad. Wood to Stavenley East. No, we don't want to go to Stavenley East. We want to go to Shipley East. Yeah, so I'm going to see if we can try and get another copy on that one. And we'll get you released as well. So that should help out. Now, I want to build some trains. I want to build some trains. I also want to get some research done. Uh, terraforming, we don't want to faff around with that. Conveyors, man, I really do want to faff around with conveyors. I just wanted to get myself into a somewhat financially stable position before actually starting work on some of the, what I suspect to be uh, really expensive stuff uh, is begun, I guess. Yeah, we wanna, wanna try and do that. I mean, coal is still looking fine. Iron ore is looking fine. Supply of everything is actually very, very okay at the moment. How much do we need to expand to the next region? 900,000? Okay, all right, that's, that's fine. Wood planks and coal suspect that we're not going to be doing that for a wee while just a just a sneaking suspicion there but what do what do i know what do i know about anything what do i know about anything right supply is still good supply i tell you what look at this this uh this wood supply route this could definitely be turned into a, a train route i'm just not convinced that we are going to end up I'm not convinced that we're going to end up in a profitable situation here. Like, this is... This is going to be... This is going to be rough. But you know what? I'm I'm perfectly willing to try. I'm perfectly, perfectly, perfectly willing to try. It's just going to cost me such an inordinate amount of money that I can... I can feel it coming a, a mile away. Are we perhaps better to put... Uh, are we perhaps better to put coal... Surely we're not better. We're not better putting coal on the uh, on the route. I... No, we can't be. We can't be. There's there's no way that the um, there's no way that the coal the coal mine becomes our first train route. Is it? I don't think so. I think it's. I genuinely think that it's that it's wood. I tell you what we can do as a little as a little test run. As a little test run, I think that it should be wood. The reason that it should be wood is because we can actually run. There we go. We can actually run a little test with the wood area over here. That's still within range. It's pretty good. Let's do that. And we don't need any waypoints. We will need a garage at some point. Can't build here. Right, uh, poor qua video game. Is that just because I'm trying to build too close to the road? I tell you what, though, the good news is rail isn't nearly as expensive as I originally anticipated. 17k. I mean, it's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but seems seems fine. Uh, now. Again, I'm making the assumption that we can get a crossing, a road crossing in here. It's just that I've probably built it uh, a little, a little too close. There we go. Probably built it a little too close to the, to the railway. 
or or not apparently i'm just not able to able to do that can we bridge can we bridge this there's just no there's just no are you serious that we just cannot get a we can't get a level crossing really i am unbelievably surprised right now legitimately the easiest perhaps cheapest option might just be to bring the road around the back of the station is that am i actually just for real i got to be honest like that's uh that's real surprising that's real surprising right build a bridge start building a bridge start building a bridge again oh my lordy this is just this just ain't gonna it ain't gonna cut it is it it ain't gonna cut it you just do not want to build uh you do not want to build uh build a bridge hmm i mean i can i can refund it i can refund it i will refund it Let's, you know what, let's, let's do, let's do what is undoubtedly the sensible thing here. Let's prioritize at all costs uh, a technology which we have yet to fully uh, explore and or understand. But let's do, let's do this. At the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to take a risk and the risk is that we're going to build, we're going to build a railway. Don't worry about the fact that we don't have any signals or routes or anything like that. We'll, we'll worry about that. Uh, we'll worry about that a little bit later. I still cannot believe that that's the case. Can we build a road bridge instead? Is that... There's... How, how can we not cross over the tracks here? What is the... What is the... Uh, what is the height that is required to pass over the tracks? I, I genuinely am completely... Completely baffled. Uh, arc bridge. We can literally only build an arc bridge. Uh, also, I don't know the hotkey for, uh, for increasing the cursor height here. I just, I'm just, I'm just completely baffled that this is, uh, this isn't something that we can, that we can do. Right. What about a, what about a concrete tunnel? can't build here no I appreciate that yeah it just doesn't want us to go doesn't want us to go underground doesn't want us to faff around with that I I mean it makes it makes everything a lot more difficult to be honest if we're not able to if we're not able to bridge bridge the gap here it just doesn't look like anything can be built underneath Again, I might be I might be misunderstanding that, but uh, it really doesn't look like anything can be built underneath. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I, I'm really not prepared to to faff around with this for much longer. So we're gonna take the unusual step of spending thirteen thousand uh, that I'd really rather not, and instead just. That's a really awful connection there, but I'm just going to leave it as testament to the failure of building a rail network here. Right, let's do... It's the wrong type of, uh, the wrong type of garage there. Uh, this is probably going to require some form of... Yeah, some form of rail connection, if I'm not mistaken. We do this. 6,000. Sure. That worked out barely. Barely, barely, barely worked out. Okay. Let's see if we can buy a train. It's no doubt going to cost us an insanely large amount of money. Indeed, I am totally correct. And uh, this is probably where we are going to find that, uh, find out that wood is not ideally, or we're not ideally suited to using wood for this, uh, for this for the supply here all right wood to shipley east these two trucks 
both of them. Let's stick him on wood to Stavonly East. Stavonly East, even. Uh, because we're going to be doing the Shipley East delivery route to, to, to here. Right. Cool. Wait, Shipley Central? Is, is that not connected? Is that not within within range? Oh, hold up. It does look like it's within range. Oh, I see. It's within range of Shipley East, so we're going to be able to transfer through this facility here. All right, that's uh, that's pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty. Class O, let's buy one. That's great. I'm not happy about how expensive it is, but it's fine. And then we need to get a stake car. I'm going to take out two loans. Uh, 16,000, not enough power. Uh, not enough power? Poor Qua. Poor Qua video game. Oh, I tell you what, do I need to... Hold up. I need to, I need to edit it. I need to edit the train as opposed to, as opposed to doing what I'm doing at the moment. How do I, how do I do this without upsetting the, without upsetting the, uh, the video game? Do I need to do it in configuration? Oh. Sell for 91,000. Yeah, you know what? Because I haven't... Because I haven't uh, bought it already, we can do that. Okay. Right. That's... And that's... That and that. You know what? I'm just going in. Going, in, going all in. 158,000 is going to be... It's going to be worth it. Mark my words. There's got to be some way to edit trains once they've been bought. If there's not, I would be shocked and surprised. But perhaps I'm just missing it. Turn around. Horn. Ah, whatever. Anyway. Anyway, let's get... Let's get a connection to here. We'll unload. Very, very simple setup. Save as. Wood to Shipley Central. And boom, we're going to dispatch. Train is lost, can't find its way. Ah, yes, of course, because the track isn't connected in such a way that the uh, video game can find its way to the first stop. Uh, I could connect up that, but to be honest, I think if I'm just clever about this, we can get you... We can get you to skip current order and head to the second one, and that will sort you out. Right, again, it's a very, very simple, very, very simple network. Nothing too complicated, but it should mean that we're delivering wood much more rapidly, and it's going to, you know, it's going to serve as a proof of concept. Vehicle is lost. Iron ore. Stavonly accepts more iron ore. Uh, and to be honest, we should be doing something with that. There's a lot of stuff that has expanded its capacity, and I just really haven't watched because it's not been a priority. Okay, so wood is... Wood is going to be is going to be coming through here in, in major quantities. I would be shocked, by the way, if if we don't immediately break the storage on on this wood facility here. Shipley is growing. Holy cow, it's growing. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. I thought that we were in range here, but apparently apparently we're not, and apparently we can't transfer through. If I change the work orders, is that going to make any difference? Shipley Central, uh, edits, unload all units. Yeah, if I change this to... I can't unload there, that's fine. Don't add non-stop, just delete that, just give me this and... Unload and then load available cargo. Sure, we'll try. We'll try that, but if not, we may have to move the we may have to move the station. If I have to move the station, I'm not gonna. It's it's not the end of the world. It does make me a little bit miffed at the whole situation. If that is the case, though, uh, but we'll try the transfer order. See if that makes a difference. See if we can transfer through Shipley East. Apparently, we can't. So it looks like we can deliver to the Shipley East. Uh, what's it called? The 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 the, the, the thing. The the freight station. We can deliver to the freight station, but apparently we cannot. Yes. Okay. Seven seven k back. That's a. That's awful. Given that it was used like three times. 
right. Boom, get that down and then get the track connection over here. Nice. Okay, uh, Shipley Exchange, that needs to be, needs to be Shipley Exchange, add stop, boom, unload, excellent, save, okay, go, unpause, wonderful. Also, did I, I unlocked something in manufacturing, what did I unlock? I know that I haven't even, I haven't even investigated what, uh, what the manufacturing research gave us. Manufacturing gives us connectors, filters, elevated conveyors underground conveyors yeah i should uh i should investigate conveyors at some point research we absolutely don't need that wood processing wood processing seems like a pretty good idea given that wood beams wood beams are now a thing right like they're somewhere we can supply them somewhere yeah we can supply them over here all right for now let's keep our focus solely trained <laughs> solely trained on the train this is gonna work. It's gonna absolutely work. Vehicles can unload. It's they're unloading directly now, which is fine. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. So it did work. It did work. Delighted that it did. Can I go into research? And can I have a little look at rails too? What do we got? Beam bridge? There's gotta be some other way of making bridges that I'm just completely missing. Freight station two, garage two. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Thing is, wood will need to be supplied for a fairly long time to come. I imagine before we're able to before we're able to oversupply, but when it happens, it's gonna happen real quick. It's gonna happen real, real quick. Okay, uh, we're making we're making decent money here. However, we can really support uh, a lot more vehicles. And that's the that's the thing, right? We're gonna add two additional iron vehicles. Wood vehicles are wood vehicles are pretty okay at the moment. Beams, I mean, we're we're still not gonna be able to do anything about that. How are we doing over here? We're excellent. More supply over here. More supply over here. That's a good candidate for. That is a great candidate, actually. Ooh, we'll, we'll check out that in just a second. Yeah, this is a great, 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 great candidate for uh, for an additional rail rail station. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. Look at this. Shipley is now officially a town. Excellent. Brilliant. Was that the first place to do it? Yeah, it absolutely was. We got some good passenger services on the go. We need to get better passenger services ah, pretty much everywhere, to be honest. Do we get a passenger service in, in Shipley? I think that we do, you know? I think that we do. It costs us costs us a little bit to get. But it seems like it seems like something that we do want to do. Right, yoink that in there. And we will yoink this in here. 57,000. I mean, is there anywhere else that we can... Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, that's nice. So does that immediately count as... That immediately counts as pretty good coverage. I'm gonna get a route between them. Again, I'm not really sure if that is the done thing, but, uh, but we're gonna do it. Because why not? Shipley North, transfer. And Shipley Southwest transfer let's leave that as an individual route for now and dispatch you excellent how are we doing for wood remarkably well remarkably remarkably well you know what i think we do i think i know exactly what we do i, I have a i have a game plan i have a, a proper game plan for the first time ever uh we're gonna we're gonna leave this train as is for now until we have the option, and uh, it'll be very, very shortly indeed, until we have the option of constructing a station here, which is what we're going to do right now, and extending the rail network, which we can do, but it's going to cost us a fairly large chunk of cheddar, although I can take out more loans, which, uh, to be honest, I'm going to do, but we are now officially maxed out on the, 
on the loan situation. Anyway, the loans specifically are to connect up. There we go, track to there. And then, after that, we're going to perhaps, uh, perhaps amend the route a little bit. Oh my goodness, we need, we need more wood here. Anyway, the train is going to have its route edited. We're going to add a stop after this. We're going to say Broad Street. Yep, load everything. Add a stop over here and unload. Now, hopefully, hopefully, that's going to mean that we don't end up we don't end up oversupplying wood to this uh, to this facility here. But it also allows us to keep the entire train route as like uh, a single network. We're also going to repay three bank loans whilst we're whilst we're at it, because I uh, somewhat over over borrowed. Ringwood now accepts iron ore. That's great, actually. That's really really handy. That's very very helpful. So we've got a decent amount of iron ore coming in uh, coming in here to Stavely. There's so much there's so much additional capacity that could be eking out of this. I mean this heating plant, for example, I think it might have grown once. If it hasn't grown once, it, it still needs extra it still needs needs extra coal, right? This this coal plant, it needs extra coal. I just haven't really invested in new trucks in uh, in a while. Demand decrease, business difficulties mean that you accept less wood. That's okay. That's fine. We're we're bringing you we're bringing you a pretty decent amount of wood. Notably, we're not even completely filling out the train. We have a deal. We've got our wood there. Yeah, we're not completely filling out the train, which it's probably good. It's it's probably completely fine that the that the sawmill gets a little bit of time to to recharge, perhaps uh, relax a little bit. Uh, we can also chat about signals and whatnot about uh, about getting that all fixed up. But I don't I don't even necessarily feel the need to do that. Wow, how on earth are we not supplying coal here? I don't know. Shipley's, uh, Shipley's supply of passengers is average. How many people on this bus? Eight passengers on the bus to go between Shipley, Shipley South, uh, Southeast and Shipley North. That's pretty freaking good, to be honest. That's, that's pretty freaking good. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, okay, we're gonna buy, we're gonna buy some more vehicles because, I mean, at this point, there's so many, there's so many businesses, as I'm, as I was just saying, so many businesses that just don't have the support that they need. Doing, we're not even, we're not even managing to uh, manage the demand of the the iron ore, and it, it's barely any distance between the between the pickup point and the drop off point here. But anyway, I think one of the first things that we probably want to solve this, and also this. I wonder, are we, are we limited by the amount of coal that we have here? No, our coal mine is doing a grand old job. Doesn't look like we're really depleting the coal at all. I mean, we are depleting the coal. Of course, we are we've depleted it by 2%. Uh, what I mean to say is that I'm pretty sure there's always coal ready to be picked up whenever whenever trucks come by. It's an important thing to note for sure, though, because we don't really want coal trucks to take anything other than a full load. I mean, we can change that. We can change the, the routes. If I go edit routes, uh, wait for full loads, wait for full unload, uh, wait for full load. There you go. And change this route, wait for full load, excellent. That's perhaps a little bit more, a little bit more efficient there if we do that. Yeah, it might sort of expose where our weaknesses are as well. That said, there is nothing stopping us from getting... You know what? There's nothing stopping us from getting an additional mine here. Let's buy a AA truck. Sure. I'm going to set you up on a route from here. Load all available cargo, and drop-off point is going to be a brand new station that I'm going to create. I really feel like I shouldn't be building more stations at this stage in the game, but uh, you know what? We're going to do it nonetheless. 
freight station. Yeah, 20, 29K. It seems like a little steep because I'm having to build out on this little, I'm gonna have to build out in this little ledge here, but ah, whatever, we'll do it anyway. Okay, uh, unload, brilliant, wait for full load, save as, iron to ring with east, brilliant. And that's hopefully, yeah, you. Nice, four trucks. I think that should be enough. If it's not, we'll uh, we'll take action, we'll fix it. We've got good wood supply, that's brilliant. What about wood supply over here? It's not quite as good, but it's still, it's still not bad. Are we managing? We're almost managing to get on top of the, on top of the wood supply from the, from the sawmill. Although, that being said, it would be good if we were able to full load from Shipley Broad Street. Shipley Broad Street, excellent. Just means that we're gonna, that we're gonna properly utilize our train as opposed to just waiting around. There's definitely a more efficient way that I, uh, that I can handle this situation. Getting a lab, by the way, and then using it once. 31,000 refund, what do we... Whew, that's not a, that's not something that's happening. Getting a lab early on, uh, for demonstration purposes, maybe wasn't one of the, the smartest things that I've ever done. Additionally, uh, not actually using conveyors, that's... That's, uh, that's something that we should do, right? There's not really anywhere that it's super appropriate, right? I guess here, I tell you what, I guess, I guess right here would be, would be kind of great. Let's go conveyors. Let's get a conveyor connector. Rotate it around a little bit. How much is this going to end up costing me? Too much, probably. Okay, is that is that just going to straight up work? I hope. Okay, iron. Ooh, that's uh, that's the wrong way around. How did that how did that happen? It should all be the right way around now. Brilliant. Okay, let's let's see. Is this gonna absolutely torpedo? Oh, this is this is this is gonna this is gonna have dire consequences, isn't it? I can I can I can see the consequences coming a mile away. Consequences, of course, are that now we <laughs> now we are moving all of the resources to all of the resources to another <laughs> to another station, which means that they can't be picked up. Does mean that they can be transferred, presumably, directly to the to the factory. But it would be it would be more handy to have a conveyor, you know, take the resources into the center of town. Vehicles can load. Ah, so we can't even transfer. I see. We can't even transfer resources. Yeah, we can't even transfer resources directly into the industrial building from the from the point here. We can literally just transfer them into the uh, into the station in order to in order to make maneuvering just a little bit easier. Okay, I, I see how it is. It's good to know, actually. It's good to know. Let's uh, let's maybe get a refund for all of that, given that conveyors are therefore not necessarily of limited utility, but just a little bit less useful. I suspect that probably they're going to be much more useful. When it comes to when it comes to actually building uh, building factories and whatnot, we should also build a warehouse just for the sake of building one. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we can build a warehouse here. I don't know why we'd really want to particularly store uh, anything. I mean, doesn't doesn't particularly doesn't particularly matter. But uh, but there we go. Maybe maybe tied into the conveyor belts, the the warehouses the warehouses would gain extra utility. I guess also means that you theoretically uh, would be able to buffer supply, which would be pretty handy. I guess, but 
just not something that I really feel like we need at the moment. Supply isn't the issue, it's it's delivery. It's the fact that I spent uh, an egregious amount of money on uh, a research lab at the start of the game, and that basically stopped me from buying three additional trucks. Doesn't sound like a lot, but kind of is. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this episode up uh, right about now, ladies and gentlemen. Voxel Tycoon is, uh, is very, very good. If you'd like to see a second episode, do indeed let me know in the comments down below. I think we got a decently profitable business, uh, to be honest. We may slightly have a large loan, but that's fine. If you don't look too closely at the finances, we're, we're making a lot of money. I mean, we made 29000 last month, and uh, to be honest, I have no doubt that we can make even more uh, in, in future months. I mean, look, construction was a huge, uh, a huge part of that negative number. I reckon there's there's money to be made in uh, in Voxel Tycoon. Uh, but anyway, folks, uh, yeah, let me know if you want a second episode. Thanks as ever for uh, for all the support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash open potato. If you're interested in helping me if it is like this possible, thanks to Banana Nana Nana and Aurelio who've been the $225 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.